The best way to fail at indie game development is to never try. But if you never try, you'll never actually fail. So let's assume you do try. Here's how to fail. RNG, also known as Random Number Generator, also known as a thing in video games that never goes your way. It's the aspect of video games that are left up to chance, or at least appear to be. For example, I was trying to decide if I should even make this episode, so I flipped a coin. I'll let you know what the results are at the end of the video. So there are four types of RNG, and they kind of make a grid like this. You got Input Random, where the random things happen before the player has done anything, things like random terrain or board generation. Output Random, things that happen because the player has done something and the result of that action is being decided. And both of these two types fall into two different categories as well. You have true random, where it is exactly as it sounds. The random result is just whatever comes up. And pseudo random, where the result feels like it's random, but it's actually secretly being controlled by the developer, most often to avoid anomalies, but also to trick the player into feeling good so they don't hate their game. Anyway, if we look at this chart, we can see that... Ah, that's probably good enough. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I tell you something helpful if this is a how to fail episode? And the reason is simple. I flipped a coin. So please just ignore that last bit and we'll move on to what I really meant to say. So there's basically one type of RNG. I mean there's others, but we don't really care about those. And this type of RNG is the sort where a player does a thing and then you flip a coin to see if that thing works or not. That's the only kind of random you need for your game, and now you just have to decide if you're gonna add it. Which you are. The more of this type of RNG, the better. Why? Because the more of this type of RNG you add, the less the player's actions have any real impact. Because players love playing games where their choices don't actually affect anything at all. So let's talk about this true random thing. Imagine a game where the player has a sword that has a 50% chance of landing a critical hit, and a 50% chance of doing pretty much nothing. One would expect that about half of your hits would be a crit, and this would be true given enough time. But because you've implemented true random, the player will fail to get a critical hit for 7 hits in a row more often than you might think, resulting in the player losing and believing your game sucks. Which let's be honest, it probably does, so you know, no loss there. Now imagine you made your RNG pseudo random. You could make the chances 50%, but then if the player hasn't gotten a crit for 3 swings in a row, it will trigger an automatic crit no matter what. That way, they will never feel the hard reality of what 50% actually means, and best of all, not get mad at you. There are lots of ways to swap out true random for pseudo random, and best of all, the players will never even know. And yes, once again, I flipped a coin on if I should teach you something helpful or not, so again, you could just ignore that last part. This coin tossing thing isn't working in my favor. Let's talk about loot containers. These are containers that should be scattered around your game and have a chance of giving the players some useful or powerful items. Sounds simple enough, and the only thing we need to understand is that players really like to grind. They enjoy doing the same thing over and over, only to be denied the one thing they're looking for. And then when they finally, I mean, if they finally get it, they're burned out and hate your game. So definitely you should use true random in this case. And no, there are no other alternate mechanics that could make your game more interesting than loot containers. They're the only way to go. That's how it's always been and how it always will be. Don't try to make your game interesting, different, or less mind-numbing. Basically, any main progress mechanic should be unquestionably and intimately tied to RNG. Players really like that. And don't worry, you can trust me. Anyway, the result of the coin toss for if I should make this video might surprise you. I didn't flip a coin. Yeah, that's right. I haven't flipped any coins this whole time. I'm like William Ernest Henley up in here. I'm the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my soul. Ha <laughs> ha! I do what I want. And if you follow these instructions carefully, you are bound to succeed at failure. Hey, thanks for watching. All right, now, to be totally honest about this episode, uh, this episode was, um, well, uh, all right. It was kind of random. Ha, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Did you get that? Did you get that joke? Did you get it?